is the church needs to be a place where it's safe to be unfinished, to be incomplete, to be in need. Now, what do you think of that statement? I mean, is the church sort of like that? Do people come in general not needing? They have to be needing, otherwise they wouldn't be coming. Okay. So, so, so this church seems, seems good about that in a certain level, right? Like, we do come with our own needs. Um, because I know there's other churches out there where there's people who come always put together, always, you know, nothing wrong with them. Their life is always appears. great. <laughs> and so it appears, yeah. 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 You know. But in reality, there's, there's stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and, and as a church, you know, we're... We need to be okay that people have needs because you know we all do uh, in that respect. Um, any other comments on that? Ah, okay. Another point they're saying: neglecting our needs leads to spiritual and emotional problems. Just as neglecting regular oil, oil changes will destroy your car's engine engine. Neglecting our God-given legitimate needs will cripple us. Huh. And then he goes on with emotional symptoms, you know, since they're psychologists, right? Mm -hmm. If you feel depression, anxiety, you know, they all see that as symptoms. There's something underneath that that's going on. There's a certain need, there's a deeper issue that's going on in there. Um, you know, I'm sure all of these are, you know, these are the things you all know. Um, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. The, the main point is fruit is just a symptom. There's something, the needs, the whatever, we exhibit, it's just a symptom of, of a deeper need that they have inside of us. Um, so that's why their point is we shouldn't neglect uh, our needs. Um, is that kind of, you know, they're delving more into the psychological aspect there. I think, um, I think most of the crazy people, they don't acknowledge that they're crazy. Okay. You know, just like a lot of us. I mean, I mean, first I have to acknowledge that I'm a sinner and I really need his help. That he only him alone can help me. I can't help myself. And by doing that, I think you 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 just you know, in in a stage where you need help. You know, you you need your need and your desire is depending on him. If we don't acknowledge that we have, we have needs, then you know that we're already sufficient. We're thinking that we're good enough. We're thinking that, you know, a lot of alcoholics, you know, they, they don't go to the AA because they say, oh, I'm not an alcoholic. Right, right. I, I, For those who you don't know, know. Yeah. So, so, like, same thing, same same logic, you know. Sinner, we, we have to say, you know, we are sinner. We can't get out of problem by ourselves, you know. Because we were created and we, we can't get out by ourselves, so that's, you know, we are in need. Mm -hmm. I need to, to, you know, to open up and let them come. Yeah. Um, oh, I was going to tell you sort of a mini confession on this. Uh, in January, I, I guess Jill and I were the type of people who kind of don't ask for help. Uh, so we kind of just do stuff. The whole January, we're sick. You know, we keep running, we keep doing, we keep that. And, and we don't even know it, you know. You know, we keep doing things anyway. Uh, and then we got, and then we got offered this vacation. <laughs> so we went to San Diego. And it's like, do we really do that? Okay, let's try. At the end of the vacation, it's like, wow, we actually needed it. Yeah. <laughs> At the beginning, it's like, mm, you know, we got too much to do. But at the end of the vacation, it's like, oh, we actually, it actually recharged us a little bit. Yeah. So, so it was, so it was interesting. So I don't know if I could publicly thank the people who gave us the vacation. Um. <laughs> so, so thank you for the <laughs> San Diego vacation. 
um, yeah, I didn't realize we were running on empty. Yeah. Anyway, the, the month was, was something else. Um, and, and we're still, you know, I don't know about this lingering thing, it still lingers. But, uh, but anyway, that's for physical, physical stuff. like this before and I was younger I was more of I want to get what I need and then now it's swung to you know I need to keep doing I don't have to have needs for Jill it's different she's always been not taking care of her needs <laughs> she's always on that end so uh, anyway just a short confession uh, on that. Uh, okay so here's here's my editorial now but the Bible does still say we need to give sacrificially. You know, and are we supposed to just give of ourselves when we're full? And that is my question. It's like that's sort of my critique. Do we really only just serve others when we're fully, wherever you're fully, fully. Yeah, right. I think that too. You're, you're never being full. That's right. right. <laughs> if you keep pursuing that. Right. Yeah. yeah. It will be perfect, you know. Never reach that point. Never. Anyone. But so, yeah. So where do you draw the line then, you know? Given you have certain needs, and then God still calls you to give sacrificially, where is that then? The line, uh, I think, for me, is the thing, like, uh, if you don't, you, you reach the point, and then you want to bring still your thing that lower, to bring up him to that point, too, at the same time. That is the, that, that drawing the line. Okay. Then you 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 uh, you kind of at this point okay he's up to this point and where I'm at so I can reach up more so then I can come back and just help him again so that way kind of that is my my okay. life. Okay. okay. Any other people have certain thoughts? It's like wait a second we're not fully met our needs anyway yeah. but we're still supposed to give. Um, what do you do? You uh, only give so much. You you have to help yourself to, and you have to pray about it and you got to know where your limit is yeah. there is a limit there yeah I, I think um, you know our goodness too because I mean before we used to try to meet all our needs and then we hope that it was all over it doesn't get to that point you know and and I think now it just we just rely on on God I mean what is it that you want us to do should we continue to to keep fulfilling, you know, okay. and, and or, but somehow his answer he just you know said okay, you, you're okay right now, put it aside and just help, or you can increase because it's always it's like continues like most of the stuff you spill, but you always continue, you know, going upward to 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 make yourself healthy so you can help other people. You know, I mean, for, just for, I mean, but I don't know for other people, for us, you know, um, we have to, to, to build um, just uh, spiritually and financially within our house. And then when, you know, when, when, when we give out, spill out, it, it's more, uh, it's not a burden when I go out. And it's not a burden on Jessica. You know, so I mean, um, if, if, we, if we're doing um, ministry and uh, household suffering, I think that's going to, it's not, that's not going to work out. Okay. Quite well, because the other person is they might be mad at God. Okay. That, you know, I mean, I just kind of said, you know, God, why are you taking away my husband all the time? But but when I think both are at a in sync, that you know, God always meet you know meet our needs, and you know, I mean, He always give us extra to our poor. I think for us at that point, I think it just to each individually, we don't know where it is, but somehow it's, it's, it's always answered. You know, God's always like giving us the, the, the way out just to, okay, stop here, you know. Yeah, because isn't faith coming in? Like, where is the role of faith kicking? Yeah. You know, anyway, I didn't know that's where you're heading. 
Yeah. Um, if, before we start, we might want to first like ask about like if this is what he wants us to do. You know, sometimes we just feel that we want to deal with, but sometimes we just force ourselves to do it, but you know, not having God lead the way to you know serve Him, and we might end up serving Him in the wrong way. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. yeah. And I think if God wants someone to actually uh, use, actually wants to use someone, He would use someone, just like Jonah. You know, um, that He told Jonah that to go and tell them to what's that called? In, 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 a, in, in a way to change the way they leave and stuff. You know, it's not by his doing it's God you know, to and I don't know, that's that's me. I think you know sometimes we wanna ask God first. Okay. Like what kind of uh what type of serving that he wants us to do. Okay. Yeah, so that's where I'm sort of heading. It's like there's the there's God, there's no matter which condition you're at, like, what does God want you to do? You know, and, and that takes, and that takes, and that depends on your relationship with God, right? Each of us have a different relationship with God, and each of us have a different quality. Like, how, depending on, you know, how you nurture your relationship with God, how can you discern where God wants you to go? Whether you have needs or not have needs, you know, whether you